Yo, what's up guys? So today I'm going to be going over my predictions for the NFC North Vikings, Packers, Lions, and Bears. Let's get into it guys. But obviously before we do get into it Make sure you guys leave a like on the video subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell button as well it does help a lot guys So the first team I have is going to be the Chicago Bears now the Bears I like what they did this offseason. We're gonna go over their roster right now, but I'm telling you guys, I like what they did, but I still see them getting last in this division. All right, guys, so Trubisky, I think I'll have a better year. I don't think this is his breakout year yet. People are saying this is like the Eagles. I don't agree. They got Jordan Howard, not really a good catcher, but you have another guy behind him, Tariq Cohen, to get the job done for you in the passing game, uh, receiving game, whatever, same thing. Anyways, Allen Robinson, Taylor Gabriel, Anthony Miller at receiver. Also, Kevin White, don't forget about him. You know, uh, all his career, like his college, high school days, when he was under pressure, that's when he balled out. So don't forget about Kevin White, guys. I'm pretty high on him this year. And possibly, you know, I I'm high on him, bro. I just am, man. But yeah, tight end, we got uh, Michael Burton, Adam Shaheen. Yeah, I like him. He's like Gronk. He can block. He's tall. Yeah, he's 6'6". Um, and he can catch. And well, I mean, I, already, I think I already said that, but he, he, he can catch, block, and he's got okay speed. Kind of, he's just like Gronk, but just not as good. At least we don't know if he's as good, which probably he probably isn't. But anyway, moving on to the defensive side of the ball. Kyle Fuller, Prince of Mukamara, you know, the king of one-year contracts. But anyway, Adrian Amos, Jackson, Eddie Jackson, and then Bryce Callahan, him as well. Um, I think he's going to be playing the slot. I think Prince can also play in the slot as well. So, dude, he's freaking hot in my room, bro. But yeah, Leonard Floyd at linebacker, Aaron Lynch, your two edge rushers. Uh, Lynch coming from the Niners. Had a nice rookie season, just hasn't been as good ever since. Just, I don't know. But, Rolquan Smith, Danny Trevathan, we're gonna go with Nick. I'm not gonna say his last name, but he's a nice tackler. And then defensive line, you have Akeem Hicks, great, great player, run stuffer, gets the job done in the passing game as well. Uh, and then Goldman, Eddie Goldman, he's nice, just like a nose tackle, like one tag as well. Um, and then I don't know who's going to play opposite Akeem Hicks. I don't know who's on that the other end position, but Bears fans hit me up. Oh boy, this is, uh, is going to bring up a lot of controversy in the comments. The Minnesota Vikings. Oh god, I'm going to get some hate for this. I don't see them making the playoffs because there's always a couple teams that just were in the playoffs last year, but didn't make it this year, and that team this year is going to be the Minnesota Vikings, all right? So, Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, DeMarco Murray, I feel like Kirk is going to be the, the downfall of this team. Uh, they lost, what, Pat Shermer, right? So, I, I feel like they're, they're going to be, uh, they're going to be worse, I think, and I don't think they're going to make the playoffs, but Stephon Diggs, Adam Thielen, Laquan Treadwell, can he come back and do his thing? I don't know what has he been injured. I don't know. Vikings fans hit me up. Kendall uh, Wright as well in there. You know, he's a Titan. Then he was like a, what was it like a bear last year? Yeah. Now he's a now he's a Viking. But tight end Kyle Rudolph, David Morgan, University of Texas San Antonio, great blocker. That's really all he is. <laughs> but yeah, Xavier Rhodes on the defense side of the ball. Trey Waynes, Terrence Newman, Mike Hughes. Maurice Alexander, five nice corners. I mean, I like all of these guys, really. Um, Newman, Old, Waynes, that's like two years left if they didn't, if they get in the fifth year option. It is two years left, yeah, 2015, if they get in the fifth year, the fifth year option, obviously. And Mike Hughes, first round pick um, out of UCF, he's nice. Fifth position, you have Harrison Smith, Andrew, I'm not even gonna say his last name. We got Andrew is strong, and then Barr, Kendricks, and Gideon at linebacker, and then defensive line, which is nice. You have Hunter, Daniel Hunter, Everson Griffin, uh, Linville Joseph, and Sheldon Richardson, who I really am a big fan of. But it, it's it's a nice D line. Oh my God, bro, it's freaking hot. The number three team in this division, guys. I'm gonna give it to the Detroit Lions. All right. The Lions, I love what they did on the offensive line. That's why I have them super high. If they can all stay healthy, it's nice. I'm not going to go through every position, but I like what they did. It's nice, bro. So Stafford, they get Blunt. Uh, they get Carrion Johnson. Theo Riddick's been there a couple years. He's just a receiving back coming on third downs. Carrion gets a lot of comparisons to Le'Veon Bell. I, I wouldn't go that far, but he's definitely a nice guy. and Pretty much do everything you ask of him. So, you know, receivers, you got Golden Tate. Marvin Jones, Kenny Galladay, TJ Jones as well. Uh, what team was he on? Did I say Kenny Galladay? I don't think so, but Kenny Galladay, you know, 6'3", kind of like Calvin, but not really. <laughs> Just because he's a lion, that's why he gets that comparison, I think. Um, Luke Wilson, tight end, and they get Levine Toilolo, who's like a 6'8", tight end, who was on the Falcons last year. So, I mean, that's nice. He can, he can block as well, Toilolo, so... I guess that's what he's going to be doing on this team. And you got Darius Slay on the defensive side of the ball. Tease DeBoer, uh, Nevin Lawson, 
um, Quanjay Diggs, uh, Glover Quinn, Miles Killebrew, or Tavon Wilson at strong safety. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure like Quanjay, they, they were trying him out at safety. I'm pretty sure. And then, so yeah, Quanjay plays in, in the slot, the nickel, whatever you want to call it. And I think Nevin would also plays there as well. I'm not too sure. Anyway, moving on to linebackers, Jared Davis. He's nice. H had a nice rookie year. Not amazing. But it was nice, you know, Devin Kennard as well, and the, like the third linebacker, Jonathan Feeney. I don't even know who else is there, dude. It's just, it's just weird. Um, but yeah, the defensive side of the ball. I mean, this the defensive line. Sorry, Anthony Settle, uh, like a sixth round pick, 2016. He's been playing pretty well. Um, Anza, does he get resigned? No idea. Deshaun Hand, fourth round pick this year out of Alabama, and Ashawn Robinson, another guy out of Alabama as well. So I'm pretty sure they were, they, 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 uh, they played with each other because. I mean, Aishon's 23 and Deshaun's 22 right now, so I'm pretty sure they probably play with each other. But, yeah, man, that's the Lions. Number one, obviously, goes to the Green Bay Packers. Now, Aaron Rodgers is, like, the number one reason why <laughs> and everyone else would probably have uh, the Packers at the top of this division. Because you, you look at this team, you know, Aaron Rodgers, no good. And, and, and that's just a fact, bro. So, I just noticed this, too. Aaron Jones, um, kind of funny because Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, the running back, um, he, he was like pretty having a pretty good rookie season and then he got hurt so but I, I like him dude And then Jamal Williams as well fourth round pick last year I think Aaron was a fifth round pick and then Ty Montgomery Can he stay healthy because he's probably the third down back there now and I don't know Packers fans hit me up Tell me uh, who's who's the the lead running back there um, I wouldn't say it's Jamal though, but anyway receivers Demonte Adams Randall Cobb in the slot um, Inquinime St. Brown. I wanted this guy but like the the Packers picked one pick before the Cowboys and then they got Equinemius with that pick and we got a receiver I think we got Cedric Wilson, but yeah, that was sad, bro uh, And then you get Jamon Moore as well A lot of guys are high on Jamon Moore and Equinemius as well tight ends We have Mercedes Lewis so they get for the Jags Jimmy Graham uh, which is a great addition. I feel like he'll, uh, he'll have a Pro Bowl season. I don't think he'll be all pro. I think we can get that connection. Uh, maybe in a 2019, they'll uh, they'll have that together. But uh, anyway, moving on to the defensive side of the ball, dude. Kevin King, Jari, Jair Alexander. I don't know who's going to play in the, the slot. Probably Jair. I don't know. I feel like you want Josh Jackson and King on the outside, considering how big they are as corners. Uh, you, you could put a you could put a big guy at at, um, at slot too. I mean that that would work. But yeah, man, uh, Josh Jones at safety. They let Morgan Burnett go to the Steelers, and then Haha Clinton takes it free. And you know, definitely, it's not a bad secondary. I mean, Haha definitely boosts that secondary up, but it's a very young secondary, and I think they they can't get the job done. But yeah, Clay Matthews at linebacker, Blake Martinez, Jake Ryan, who I'm pretty sure is our cover guy. Blake is just a tackler. Clay can do everything. And then Nick Perry, pass rusher, strictly what he does. Um, I don't know. Is that strictly? I don't know. He can't stay healthy, so whatever. And they got Vince Beagle there. I don't know. I don't know really what he does. But interior defensive line. Now, this is where I like this Packers team a lot. Now, Muhammad Wilkerson, Mike Daniels, Kenny Clark, who's only 22 years old, dog. He's only 22 years old. And he's just, he's just a baller, dude. But yeah, man. Uh, this interior, uh, I would say it's only second to the Rams. And that's what I said it was, in my last video too, like my NFC West predictions. Go check that out if you haven't already. But yeah, it's only second to the Rams. Uh, just It's just so good. If Muhammad Wilkinson could play like he did, like in uh, 2012, 20, is it 2011 to 2015? Yeah, if he could play like that, he's going to be a baller. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, Leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and uh, hit that uh, bell button as well because that is very important because you don't get notifications for these videos and you guys want to stay tuned for my Super Bowl uh, predictions, which will come out four or five days from now. So stay tuned for that, guys. Make sure you subscribe to see that video because that's going to be very interesting. going to work really hard on it. So anyway, guys, have a great day.